And Syracuse locked in defensively, making it difficult for Virginia in the second half to find good looks. Cavaliers have turned it over 14 times, which is five more than their average. They came in with just nine per game, number four in the country. Nothing new there. But Virginia only averaging 9.2 turnovers a game. 14 turnovers for them. That ties the season high. And applause, big dribble going in hard. Can't cash in though. Second effort, however. Clark gets a long look and he drills a three. So at the three minute mark, it's Virginia 62, Syracuse 58. Be interesting to see if Ben Vanderplas came in from out of bounds on that possession to get that offensive rebound. If that bucket should have actually counted. Virginia 9 for 20 from 3. Back and down Edwards and a travel. As the shot went up, Ben Vanderplas takes it to the basket, unable to finish it. He's out of bounds and then comes back in without play being established and then picks it up. I'm no official, but I know a lot of officials out there watching. One of them, please text me and let me know if that was legal. Do some jump in, wait for the bounce. And it touched it. Clark deep in the backcourt as they trap him and a whistle and a timeout. Of course, you know I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, die hard. I know that hurts, but you. Yeah. I do love Jalen Hurts. Respect everything that he did at Alabama. Short time here. Oh. That'll be Judah. Vince with a foul on the baseline. Yeah, right. Judah Mintz bailing out Kihei Clark on that possession. So 2.35 remaining. That'll bring up a one and one. And coming up, Baylor and Texas. Stay right where you are. Big 12 matchup. And two of the top teams in the conference. Texas just went down to Tennessee and took one on the chin. Of course, Virginia is one of the great defensive teams in the country. I haven't seen anybody better than Tennessee on that side. Yeah. Rick Barnes, of course, playing in the Barnes Bowl in that game. They lost at Texas last season. So avenging that loss back on his home floor now in Tennessee. But, of course, Rick Barnes coaching both programs. You and Dickie V hanging out in that game. I tried to watch it. They had the sound off in the Scott Club, so I couldn't hear you. But I did see. Glad you were with us. <laughs> Great environment there at Thompson Bowling. 64-58, Virginia. Virginia only nine foul shots, but it made seven. Edwards again. Here's Gerard back in. Can't hit. Races for the rebound. Vince looking to penetrate. Scoops it and hits. Fast approaching two minutes to go. And once again, the full court pressure. Kihei Clark trying to split it. They're going to say Justin Taylor touched it last. And it's not under not under two minutes, so no. still can't go review that yet. 208. So Virginia to check it in. Still only two seconds to get it across half court for Reese Beekman. Is Tony Bennett going to call the timeout? Cavaliers taking their time. Here's Clark to launch. Big fight for the rebound. Still loose. And a foul against Virginia. Vanderplas will pick up number five. And Bennett Vanderplas really just trying to hustle after the basketball. But Judah Mintz getting his hands on it. And a smart play by Judah to take the fall, gets the call. An opportunity to put two points on the board without the clock moving. It's his second foul. I should say his third. 
Then sinks the first. And right now, Syracuse moving back. No longer up in the full court pressure. A one possession game. Jim Beheim can go back into the zone now, down two, and try to get a stop the traditional way. But the, the full court pressure did its job. One forty to go. Six to shoot. Turnaround on the baseline. One ball there for Gardner. And Syracuse down two with the rock. Enough time to try to get the basketball into the hand of Jesse Edwards. Allow him to be the playmaker. Play inside out. Wants to shoot a big collision offensive foul. They'll get Edwards for the charge. And even more damaging, that is the fifth foul on Jesse Edwards. He picks up the offensive foul, attacking the basket. And he will be disqualified by having two guys having to come defend you. Under a minute. Franklin averaging 13 a game. Really good beyond the three at 41%. Clark gets 39. Gardner pull up pop. Six set. Big, Big Gardner bucket. money there. Big bucket for Jaden Gardner. He's been good all night, but he was great on that possession. Boy, Mintz nearly turned it over. 17 for Gardner with six rebounds. Gerard for Mintz. 19 seconds to go. That won't drop. Gardner with the rebound. An excellent position and a foul here against Syracuse. And Malik Brown. We'll stop the clock with 13.6 to go. And it's looking like another missed opportunity for the Orange. We rewind back six days. They had North Carolina on this floor where Jim Beheim and his staff feel like they gave a game away and they were unable to close it out. And right here in this one as well, made it a one possession game down two. And then tough shots, turnovers, down the stretch, have hurt the Orange. Been a recurring issue all season long. And trying to pick off an opponent like Virginia and gained a huge win, unable to do it. 67-62. Mintz has to get one in the air. Can't hit it. Final seconds. Virginia win it. They can celebrate a win tonight here inside the Dome. Hard fought. And they win it by a final score of 60.